Yeah, good morning, Stoke Tribe. The temperatures have dropped a little bit here in Southern Oregon, and I am just cozying up this morning. Oh, it feels so good. Got the fire going. Living in abundance. And this is a really beautiful one today, albeit a small amount controversial. I'm really excited for you guys to share your thoughts and insights in today's challenge because it's a really profound um, concept that everyone agrees is absolutely critical, yet, man, we identify in a really big way with our relationships with our friends, and that's why it's so powerful. And we don't want to feel as though we're not being loyal, you know, um, or fake, or uh, um, I don't know, what would be another uh, thing? Maybe um, opportunistic. Um, so, you know, and definitely those things would be pitfalls. Like if you were just becoming a friend with someone because they had money, how freaking ridiculous would that be, right? But that said, we are most like the five people that we spend the most time with. That's a profound idea right there. And what is it that we are inviting into our lives? Those five people will tell us by who it is that they are. So if we're working on abundance, think of the friends that you currently have or even relationships in your community that act in a way of abundance that inspires you in the deepest manner and spend more time with them. Does that make sense? So I have developed a phenomenal community for myself and I have let go of some friends and even family members that just live in such a manner that grates on my sense of abundance. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. And you can't drag people along your journey. It just, it's, it's untenable. Um, you can invite them, you know, and um, give them the invitation to join you, but it really is up to them. And we all know that. We've brought plenty of horses to the water, but it is up to them to drink, isn't it? So in today's Abundance Challenge, you're going to be looking at the five people you spend the most time with. Consider how it is that they exhibit or live in abundance. And I love the idea of, I started to really focus on people that inspired me in a huge way that I wanted to spend time with. Like even as mentors and almost gurus or people that were just levels above what I considered myself to be in a spiritual uh, monetary um, stoke manner. And I started to just spend time with them and in a quasi manner, turn them into not only mentors, but friends. And now I must say that I have a phenomenal community and network of people that I could reach on that are, I just feel incredibly honored to be able to call them friends. And, um, and I invite you to explore that concept on your own in the business and particularly in the real estate world. They say your network is your net worth. So who is it that you know? You know, um, go ahead and explore your community, your network. How does that relate to your abundance? This is a journey that you get to really dig into. And it is um, a lifetime journey, isn't it? So that is today's abundance challenge to really look at your network, your friendships. And um, there is definitely a differentiation between the two. And there is a difference between being friendly and friends. There's a place for everything, but we're very sophisticated and intelligent people. Uh, we live in our authenticity and our courage and we can do it all. So what does that mean to you? What does today's lesson trigger for you? 
please share your insights below. And thank you again for sharing the Stoke.